Good evening, everyone. I'm heading off to work. This is going to be a short take video, something I wanted to address. Nothing serious, but hopefully this thing's recording. Its light came on when I went to record, so that's good. So you people will see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always... I got a comment recently telling me, someone was telling me they got 30 miles to the gallon this winter, and they were wondering what I was getting for winter driving. And I wanted to address a few things about uh, the gas mileage in the winter. I have discussed this before, but I wanted to discuss it again because my gas mileage is abysmal at this point. Uh, but there are reasons behind it. Uh, this person told me they did a lot of highway driving and that not, is not necessarily going to get you the best gas mileage. It really comes down to how fast you're going. So, winter driving. What are the things you have to key and look out for on a Honda Insight and what's going to kill your gas mileage and what can you really expect? When I used to drive all the way to Best Buy for work, that was a long drive uh, that was about 42 miles, uh, not the least of which uh, on the mileage, uh, half of it was expressway and half of it was back roads and the back roads is where you're going to get the best gas mileage going about 45 to 50 miles per hour. You get great gas mileage in those kind of speeds. I would average about 43 miles to the gallon. Uh, so now <laughs> I'll tell you that shortly. You're not going to get massive gas mileage uh, increases. It, it, you're going to get much lower gas mileage on the average of, uh, of, you know, anywhere from 10 miles to the gallon less or so than what you would get in the summer based on the kind of driving you do. Now, a few things to watch out for. Remote starting. You remote start your car. Obviously, it's going to sit there and idle and it's going to kill your overall gas mileage. There's nothing you can do about that if you want a warm car when you get into it. Either way, the car is going to have to idle this engine at some point because it has to get to operating temperature. No choice in that matter. Uh, fuel formulation is also different. Uh, the fuel is formulated uh, differently and you get lower gas mileage in winter fuels anyway. That's just the way they're formulated in the winter. Can't speak for exactly why, probably to lower on uh, problems with water and fuels and so forth. Uh, obviously, wheel spin in snow. All that kind of stuff, constantly sliding and spinning your wheels is going to do it. Obviously, the way you drive is going to make a big difference. If you tend to hit the gas like a regular gas car as opposed to driving it you know, reasonably gingerly, you're also going to get lower gas mileages. Uh, but I said, when he said he got 30, that is not completely unreasonable for winter driving if you're doing expressway driving. If you're driving 70 miles per hour on the expressway, uh, you are going to... Uh, notice slightly lower gas mileage at that kind of speed. It's just the car, they didn't formulate the design of this particular uh, hybrid system for the best gas mileage on the expressway. You'll still get good gas mileage, but it's not gonna be as best as say, you're going 55 miles per hour or so. So that's gonna make a big difference in your gas mileage. Uh, now, my gas mileage is now averaging about 20 miles to the gallon, which is abysmal. Yes, that's terrible. And that's why you have to have realities. You have to have a reality of what kind of gas mileage you're gonna get out of a car, even a hybrid uh, car, during the winter based on your driving. Now, why am I getting about 20 miles to the gallon during the winter? And yes, that is terrible, but there is a reason. Uh, the big reason is A, I'm an old fart, and at this point in my life, I'm remote starting the car all the time. Uh, the reason I'm remote starting the car uh, is mainly uh, because I'm cold. It's freaking cold. It's 16 degrees out there. I don't want to get into a cold car. That's going to kill your gas mileage. Number two, I average one and a half miles to get to work. Uh, and it's not a constant 45. There is some stop and go to get there. So I'm not reaching the peak kind of speeds or driving that you can get out of this car for gas mileage. Now, I could use my my uh, EV button a little bit more to try to engage the EV more often. But when it's this cold, you're running the heat a lot and you want you don't want to be too cold, kills the gas mileage. So short, so if you're one of those people who are buying a hybrid and you're getting disappointed because it's winter time, you're getting terrible gas mileage, look into whether you're remote starting your car, whether you're doing short trips and short drives. I mean, there are, there is some question as to whether you should remote start your car. You're gonna to have to heat up your engine and there are some discussions that better have your engine in operating temperature before you start a drive anyway, if you can. Um, I'll leave that debate up to people who know more about things, but <clears throat> either way, I think it's better for wear and tear. 
uh, like that. So these are things you need to keep in mind uh, as well. Uh, also, using heat's gonna kill your gas mileage. Not as massively as you would think, but it does do it a fair amount, especially if it's very cold and the engine has to constantly engage in order to keep the temperature up uh, due to the fact that we're not just talking, you know, 20 degree, 25 degree cold, we're talking five degree cold and stuff like that. So these are things you also have to consider uh, for this. There is a way of doing passive heating in your car once the car is heated up. Uh, that can also warm up your cabin or keep you relatively warm if you have the vents aimed at you while you're driving as long as you have a reasonable amount of speed then uh, air will come through and it'll bleed air through the from the engine and it'll be warm but 30 miles to gallon uh, overall on a tank of gas in the winter time expressway driving that's definitely not unreasonable for this car and it all comes down to your dependencies on how you drive. So I'm gonna leave a link in my thing on some of the other ones about how, uh, you know, where's my gas mileage. I've done a couple of uh, videos on that. And also I'm gonna leave a link to how to passively heat the car if you wanna try that aspect. So you can't have unreasonable or unrealistic ideas of what the gas mileage is gonna be on a hybrid. Uh, if you drive like I am, remote starting, before you leave for work, Driving one and a half miles to work on a regular, you know, like city driving, but not heavily city driving, not a lot of traffic or anything. And then when you get out of work, remote starting your car again for 10 minutes and then driving one and a half miles back to ho house, you're going to end up with 20 miles to the gallon overall uh, gas mileage. And, you know, I bought a hybrid. It's supposed to be. No, no, guys, we have to use realism here. Also, it doesn't help that it's been like single digits here half the time lately, so keep all of that in mind 30 miles to the gallon that's not bad i used to get 43 but i had long drives it was an hour drive constant speeds plenty of time for the car uh pl plenty of ability at higher speeds to, to use passive heating to keep myself warm in the car uh, you know i could even remote start back then too if i wanted to and still get great gas mileage like that so don't fret the low gas mileage uh, in, in the winter time. Keep in mind, you spin your wheels, keep an eye on your tire pressure too. That can shave one or two miles of the gallon off of your thing if you get lower, lower if your um, tires get low and so forth. So I just wanted to do a quick take um, response to that particular question about gas mileage and the re realities of what gas mileage is really gonna be like. And it's gonna be like in all hybrids. Uh, it, it all very much depends on your driving, how you're driving, where you're driving, uh, and how you keep your car. Uh, and that's all I got to say. 38 out.